Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create animations in our Android application. Animations are the important parts of the UI. It improves our app's quality and user interaction. So create our animations, we need to create an Android resource directory in our project. As always, you'll find the example code in the video description. So guys, before we begin, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get more updates. Now I have already created the project. With an image view that we are going to animate and a button. And in our Java file, I assign the image view and the button with their following IDs. So to create an animation directory, right click on the rest folder, new, choose android resource directory. And choose the resource type to anim. And we will keep the name and the rest as it is. And click the OK button. Now we have to create an animation resource file in our anim directory. So right click on the anim directory. New animation resource file. Give the file a name. I am gonna call it fed in. And click OK. Now for the cross fading type animation will simply change its opacity. In Android maximum opacity is 1 when the view is completely visible and the minimum opacity is 0 when the view is completely invisible. And we determine the opacity value from the alpha tag. So in the set section we will write Android colon interpolator interpolator is equal to address android colon anim accelerate interpolator and we set this animation duration to 200 milliseconds for this type of animation, it is recommended to set the duration to 700 milliseconds. Now here we will create an alpha tag. And from alpha 0, to it will be alpha 1. That's it for the animation file. Now let's go to the Java. Now here we will create an animation object. Animation. We will call it animation is equal to animation utilities dot load animation. It takes two parameters. First will be the application context and second will be the animation that we want to apply. So art.anim. the file of the animation that we have created. Now we can finally call the set animation in our image view and pass the animation object. Now we will create an another animation file for our fade out animation. So right click on the anim folder and create an another animation file. I am gonna call it fade out. As same as before, give the interpolator and duration attributes.
Now in the alpha tag, we will write the opposite of the fed in animation. It will be from alpha 1 to alpha 0. Now in the java code, we will set the animation. We want to animation occur when the button is clicked. To set a on click listener on this button, and inside the on view method, we'll write the animation code. So it will be same as before. Just the file name will be changed. Now that our animation file is created, let's test the application. Fade in animation is working. Click the button. Fade out animation is also working. But when the image is fading out, it's coming back. So let's fix it. For that, we'll give an simple attribute in the our fade out animation called fill after and set its value to true. So it will not coming back when the animation is fading out. 